Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know I haven't posted here in a pretty long time, uh, but that's been because like I've been out of town and I've run out of creative inspiration. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, for this video, I decided I really wanted to do a drawing of one of my favorite cosplayers cosplaying one of my favorite characters from the Adventure Zone. And if you haven't noticed from my channel recently already, uh, the Adventure Zone's kind of taken over my life and destroyed my soul. That's just how it happened. I've, I started listening to it in, I want to say like early May. I finished it in two weeks, and then I did a re-listen before I went and saw the San Francisco live show, uh, like a month or so back, which was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've also got another loop, or, or a couple loop-based videos, um, planned to go up in the near future, so I guess prepare for loop-based updates, because loop is the best? Yeah, you know. Um, spoilers, I guess? I don't know. Do I tag this as spoilers? I might. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. So, basically, since I first listened to the Adventure Zone, it has not left my life at all. Like, really? Uh, I've already listened to it twice, I'm about to start my third listen, <laughs> and it's only been a couple months, so yeah, um, yeah, and I'll just explain, like, who I'm drawing and why, yeah, uh, through my immense, like, love of the Adventure Zone, um, I basically ended up watching every animatic I could find on YouTube, uh, and then I was just out of content. I didn't know what to do with my life. So I was like, mm, I'll go use Musical.ly. Because I don't know. I don't actually know why I checked Musical.ly originally. But I'm glad I did. Because I found this really, really cool cosplayer named uh, uh, Bex Industry on Instagram and Musical.ly. Everyone, please follow her. Holy crap. She's the best, like, loop and uh, taco and all, like, all these other characters I've ever seen. Also, an amazing Aubrey and, like... Holy schmoly. Like, I did an Aubrey cosplay, but like, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't hold a candle to that. But on <laughs> Yeah, her stuff's amazing. And uh, the other day she posted this, um, her most recent loop, uh, Lich Loop test uh, on her Musically and on her uh, Instagram. And just like, Seeing one of her musicallys where she just recreated one of the scenes from the finale, like, I was, like, in public, like, looking at it and, like, listening on my headphones, and I, like, audibly gasped because it was so good. Like, girl, if you're watching this, holy moly, you're, like, the best loop and Aubrey and, like, Targo out there. Like, dude. <laughs> Your stuff is so good. I can't. I don't know if I sound like a stalker, because I'm not. I know that's what stalkers say. That's not... Ignore me. I love your stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, in this video, I used a lot of, uh, uh, like, Copics and Prismacolors, stuff like that. Uh, I did the base with my normal sketching mechanical pencil that I usually use, um, and then I went in on the for the base with some more of my Copics, um, and after I did like a lot of the base colors with my Copics, um, I went in, went in to do the detail work with my Prismacolors because I have a wider range of colors in my Prismacolors, then I do my Copics, and I didn't think I could get, like, the range I wanted with my Copics, uh, so I just went in with my, uh, my Prismacolors, yeah. Even though, like, the first Prismacolor I used for the hair is, like, a little too yellow, but, like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely put the link for, um, her, the original post 
and that I based this drawing off of in the description and like link to her Instagram link to everything just yeah please check her out she's really cool <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm bouncing around subjects a lot like I made a list of things for me to talk about kind of but I'm just I'm a mess I'm not I'm a mess okay <laughs> that's been established um yeah this this video took me like this drawing I'd say probably took me like five and a half hours to do wow I didn't even need to guess I could have just looked at the time stamp. never mind because <laughs> I filmed the whole thing uh yeah five and a half hours I'd say um uh, just basic amount of drawing time I need to speed up I'm a mess okay yeah then uh filming this video was a challenge all in of itself because I've never done like a video from above like this before so like my my rig was was janky as hell and yeah I basically I stacked stacked up a bunch of books and then like put two sticks towards the top and then balanced my phone on top of those two sticks and then turned the flash on and videotaped with a lamp on next to me and then like my computer to the left of my reference image and all my pencils were everywhere it was it was a lot but it worked I guess yeah I mean the lighting's kind of kind of funky but like you get the gist. It's it's existent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have a topic for what I'm talking about in this video. It's more just me rambling about how much I love the Adventure Zone and all that other stuff. Because I'm just a massive nerd with a, who cries over podcasts. Oh man. Just like that finale. Oh my god. I've listened to that finale like six times. Yeah, I know the only people that are going to be watching this are just going to be like, my friends. Hi, friends. Uh, I know there's like three of you, and you don't care about the Adventure Zone. But guys, it's so good. Please listen. If anyone else ever listened to this and you haven't listened to the Adventure Zone, 20 out of 10. Definitely recommend. Please. Oh my god. Um... And then totally forget about this drawing, because this drawing is, like, a vague spoiler. Okay, cool. Moving on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just going for, like, a full list of all the items and stuff I've used. Yeah, it's basically, like, pencil, ink, um, Copic marker, uh, Prismacolors, and then at the end, I did a background, um with like well I started out with Copics I did my base in Co Copics like I often do uh and then I went over and did uh like I just finished it up with like a light um layer of acrylic paint just to, like smooth it out make it look nicer I guess uh and then I did the the words over the top uh at the end of the video and also in acrylic paint so that's that's what I, I used that for. I mean, you can tell it's paint, but like, yeah, it's paint. Yep. Um, man, I'm really good at talking. <laughs> yeah, and the, the thing I wrote over the, over the top is from, uh, also from the end of the, uh, it's from the finale of The Adventure Zone, and she used that clip in her musically, and it was good. Man, I really do sound like a stalker. No, I just really like her content. Oh yeah, and uh, for like videoing, I didn't like the, the look of just having that blank page right there, like on the other side of my drawing. So I was like, what do I put there? Like, what do I do? So I decided to just put in uh, the, the graphic novel, of course, because like that makes sense. Got it for my birthday from my friends. Thanks friends who don't care about the adventure zone but care about me a lot. I love you guys. Um, yeah, I got the graphic novel for my birthday, and, like, I finished it in, like, two hours. Like, oh my god, it, it was so good. It, like, perfectly encapsulates the entire first arc, and I just, and all those little details that they snuck in of all the things alluding to the, the rest of the, the show, just, like, 
I swear, I almost cried like three times over things that just like shouldn't have been sad, and I just, I couldn't. I, the Adventure Zone's taken over my soul, and it's just Griffin McElroy is just, thanks, thanks sir, thanks for taking over like my brain and my heart and making me cry like 24-7. Yep, thanks Griffin. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't really done a drawing like this detailed in a pretty long time. So being able to sit down and uh, work on something like this, I really enjoyed um, since it's drawing something I really like from this really cool picture. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got to pull out all my, all my drawing supplies I haven't used in a while. Uh, but now I've got to pack them all up soon, so I'll be heading back to school. And since I'll be heading back to school pretty soon, um, I'm probably going to be start, like, <laughs> I'm going to be uploading a bit more, uh, cause I'll actually have free time and stuff. Okay, yeah, okay, that doesn't make sense. Having, for me it makes sense, cause when I'm at home everything is kind of like hectic and stressful and I'm all over the place all the time, but when I'm at school I actually have like free time alone to just like chill and do whatever I want so that's probably when I'm gonna be doing most of my videos so I have I have some cool stuff planned um, I have an animation I'm not done with yet it's also from the finale of the adventure zone sorry to my friends that don't care about the adventure zone still but still watch my content still love you yeah um, I've got I'm trying to like learn how to fully animate something but like it's just it's hard and I don't know what I'm doing and I'm trying really hard. It's like an eight second clip and so far I've spent like way too many hours on it. Like the entire quadrilogy of the Hunger Games length. Yeah, like I watched all four of those movies in the span of the time I was working on it. Um, couple breaks there, but like still pretty long time. I'm also trying to do it in full color, so like that's the main problem that I can tell. I know it's my fault, but like I want it to look cool, I guess. I don't know. That one's also loop based. Um, Casey can't tell. I really love loop, so get ready for some loop based content. Woo! <laughs> um, wow, I think my animation is also Lich Loop. Huh. Get ready for some Lich Loop content! Woo! <laughs> uh, although I don't think I animated her as Lich Loop, though. Uh, but... Well, oh well. Uh, yeah, I'd say at this point, the video is probably almost over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Thanks everybody for sticking around and watching this video of mine. Uh, yeah, as I said earlier, it's, it was really fun to make, really fun to draw. Um, after I finally got a very, very long um, video file to upload to my computer, that took forever. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>